Welcome to day 45 of the Let 103 series and today's topic will be on not having faith and doubting God's power. When, what is doubt? When it comes to doubt in terms of Christianity, doubt is seen as a natural current feeling that goes on in the human mind, especially when it comes to topics about faith. Now, if you take a look in the Bible, in the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verses 5 to 8, it says, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart, and lean not on thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thine own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. So, when it comes to Christianity, we usually ask this question in terms of faith. Who do we rely on? Who do we go to when, when, you don't, when you're not really familiar with things? And that one person is God, Jesus Christ. It said in this Bible, us, lean on our own understanding. But knowledge, but trust in the Lord with all thine heart. You should trust in the Lord. Do not lean on your own understanding because what you may want for a life may not be what's best for a life. But what you may want may not be where God has destined you to be. So that's why you should acknowledge God. Trust in the Lord with all your heart because what he wants for a life is what's best for you. He said in the Bible, he knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. God knows what's best for you. That's why you have to trust in him and believe in him. But you need to communicate with him. God wants to hear you. God wants to hear from you. God wants to know what your problems are. But if you're not communicating, how is he supposed to know? That's why as Christians, it's important for us to communicate to God. It's important for us to seek God in everything to do. If it's just five minutes of a day, ten minutes of a day, just communicate to God. And surely he'll respond back. Next, if you move on to the book of Matthew, chapter 21, verses 18, verse verse 22 it says now in the morning as he returned into the city he hungered and he saw fig tree in the way he came to it and nothing thereon but the leaves only i said unto it let no fruit grow on thee henceforth forever and presently the fig tree withered away and when the disciples saw it they marveled saying how soon is the fig tree withered away jesus answered and said unto them verily i say unto you if ye have faith and doubt not, ye shall not only do which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and it shall be done. So what this Bible verse is trying to tell us is that if you have faith, nothing is impossible. If you have faith in God and his power, you'll be able to do anything, you'll be able to accomplish anything, but faith is needed. Your faith in Christ has to be strong, like Abraham in Genesis. When God told Abraham to sacrifice his only son, Abraham, he did it without waver. But it turned out that God didn't tell him to actually sacrifice his son. But because Abraham had faith and he carried out God's commandments without wavering, what happened? God turned Abraham into a father of nations. So why can God not do the same thing, the same thing to us? He can do the same thing, but we just need to have that faith. As we have that faith, faith in God, that key faith and that belief in his power that like, can do anything, why won't God do the same thing to us? So I pray as we listen to this sermon today, we just ask ourselves, do we have that faith in God? Do you really have that faith in God that when people see us, I see that, yes, this person is a child of God? We need to answer that question. But I pray that as you listen to this sermon today, I pray that you listen to this and meditate on the words I've said in this sermon. Thank you and God bless. Thank you for tuning in into day 35 of the Let 103 series. Please make sure to follow us on all social media platforms at Morning Sun London, where we'll be uploading daily content to help assist you during this Lenten period. Thank you and God bless.